We're told that Katie made a table to show how much time she spent on homework last week. And so we can see the different subjects and then how much she spent in terms of hours. So on math, she spent three fourths of an hour, reading seven eighths of an hour, writing three sixths of an hour, and then science five tenths of an hour. And then they ask us on which activities did Katie spend more than two thirds of an hour. So pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, so we essentially have to figure out which of these fractions are greater than two-thirds of an hour, or which are greater than two-thirds, and this is all in terms of hours. So first, let's just think about representing two-thirds. So let me do it like this, and I'm going to hand draw it, so it's not going to be perfect. But if this is a whole, right over here, I could split it into three equal sections. So I'm gonna to try to do that. Let me see, does that look about right? So three equal sections, so that would be a third, that would be a third, and then that would be a third, and then two thirds would be two of them. So I'll pick these first two, well it doesn't have to be those first two, so that's one third, and then two thirds. So let's see if we can draw a similar visual for each of these. So what about three fourths? So once again, let's make this a whole. And now if I'm going to think in terms of fourths, I have to divide into four equal sections. So let's see, if I divide it, that'll be two equal sections, and then I could divide each of those into two equal sections. So let's see, maybe something like this, and then like this. So it's hand-drawn, but these are four equal sections. And so this would be a fourth, that would be a fourth, and that would be a fourth, and that would be a fourth. Four fourths make a whole. So three of those fourths would be one, two, and then three. And so you can see, and I've drawn it pretty close, it's not perfect because it's hand drawn, but you can see that three fourths is more of a whole than two thirds. It's greater than two thirds. So Katie spent more than two thirds of an hour on math because three fourths is greater than two thirds. So I like this one right over there. I'll just put a square, a circle around the ones that she spent that extra time on or the more, the greater than two thirds of an hour on. Now let's think about reading, seven eighths. So to compare that, I will once again make a hole here. And then I want to think about seven eighths. So I'm going to split into eight equal sections. So let's see, that will split into two equal sections. And then, then I can go to four equal sections. And then if I split each of those into two, this would be eight equal sections. So it may look something like this. Not perfect but I think it will get the job done. So each of these are an eighth, so seven eighths are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven eighths. Clearly, once again, greater than our two thirds that we have in purple. So she spent more than two thirds of an hour on reading. Now what about writing? Three sixths, what would that look like? Well, I'll do another one right over here. So if that is a whole. Well, actually, let me split into thirds first. Since we already have a bit of a reference there, we can look up there and we can see. Those are thirds, and if we split each of those into two, we're going to have sixths, because we'll have six equal sections. So it would look something like that. And then three of those six, well that's one, two, and three. So we can see that three six is less than two thirds. So I'm not gonna circle that one. She didn't spend more than two thirds of an hour on writing. And then last but not least, science, five tenths. Well, once again, we can make a hole here. And let's see, I wanna do into 10 equal sections. So that's two equal sections. Then each of these I can do into five equal sections. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I can do a little bit neater than that. Three, four, and five, and then one, two, three, four, and five. I can make it a little bit neater, but I think this will get us to where we need to get to. So these are each a tenth. I could write one tenth, one tenth. I could do that for all 10 of these, but we care about five of these tenths. So one, two, three, four, 
five of those tenths. And notice, five tenths is the exact same thing as three sixths. And like three sixths, it is less than two thirds. So which activities did Katie spend more than two thirds of an hour on? Clearly, math and reading.